In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Sansa Media Converter to add videos to your compatible Sansa device. First, we start off by opening Sansa Media Converter, and we do that by clicking on the Start menu, selecting All Programs, and then finding Sansa Media Converter from the list. The Sansa Media Converter is provided on the CD included with the MP3 player. So once you found that, go ahead and open it up. And the program should now be open. As you can see, it has not detected my device, so I'll go ahead and plug in my MP3 player. Give it a moment, and it should now be detected. As you can see, it's the Sansa E250, and also gives you total space and available space on the player. With the player plugged in, we can now add media. We do that by clicking on the Add Media button up top. Once you click on the Add Media button, you will see this dialog box asking you which files you wish to add. In this case, I want to add a video. So go ahead and open up this one. And on the bottom left, you can see a preview of the file. Also, on the top, you can see the duration. And you can also see that here as well. An interesting new feature is the ability to crop the introductions as well as the endings of the video to meet a certain size. For example, if I only wanted to be one minute long in only a certain section, you can crop it down to about a minute long. Well, let's say this is the video I don't want to use. I'll go ahead and highlight it and then select delete and or remove it from the list. I'll go ahead and add media again and then select the other video. On the bottom you can actually see a preview of the video. You can fast forward and make sure that it is the contents of the video you wish to upload. If this is the video you want to upload, go ahead and highlight it and then click on Convert. And it will begin the converting process as well as the transferring to the player. This may take several moments depending on how big the file is. When the file is unconverting, you will see this dialog pop-up box with information about the conversion. Go ahead and click on OK. And the video should now be on the player. 